What should you do when you encounter a shark? Let me guess, you should probably whip out your waterproof guide to shark survival that you conveniently carry with you on every oceanic escapade, right? Or maybe you should consult one of those armchair experts who think they know everything about shark behavior because they watched a couple of documentaries on the Discovery Channel. It's almost laughable how people can sit in their cozy, landlocked homes and dole out advice like, just stay calm and swim slowly away. Sure, because when you're face to face with a creature that has survived millions of years of evolution as a top predator, your zen-like tranquility will undoubtedly earn you a gold star and a pat on the back from Mother Nature herself. Let's be real here. When you're in the water and you see a shark, your first instinct isn't to calmly rationalize your way out of the situation. It's to panic, flail, and maybe scream a little. And who could blame you? Sharks are magnificent, terrifying animals with rows of razor sharp teeth designed to do one thing, tear into flesh. But no, according to the experts, the last thing you should do is show any signs of distress because apparently sharks can smell your fear from miles away. So just keep a poker face and act like you're not their next meal. Easy, right? Then there's the classic advice of making eye contact with the shark. Yes, because locking eyes with a creature that can sense the electric fields generated by your heartbeat is surely the way to assert dominance. Look into its eyes, they say, and it will know you're not prey. Let's pause for a moment and appreciate the absurdity of this advice. As if a shark, with its ancient and primal instincts, will suddenly recognize you as an equal being worthy of respect just because you dared to look it in the eye. And let's not forget the suggestion to punch a shark in the nose. This piece of wisdom has been circulating for years, perpetuated by people who have clearly never been within 10 feet of a shark. The idea is that the shark's nose is sensitive and a good jab will deter it. Sure, if you happen to have the precision and courage to aim for its nose while it's hurtling towards you at breakneck speed, but in reality, you're more likely to miss and just end up with a very angry shark. Plus, have you ever tried punching something underwater? The resistance alone makes it a laughable endeavor. Or how about the advice to use whatever objects you have at hand to fend off the shark? Yeah, because the average swimmer always carries a shark repellent stick or a specially designed underwater weapon. Maybe you can fend it off with your snorkel or slap it with your flippers. The ridiculousness of it all is astounding. These recommendations seem more like fodder for a comedy sketch than practical survival tips. The advice given by so-called experts often ignores the raw, terrifying reality of encountering a shark. They forget that in the water, you are in the shark's domain, a visitor in its vast, uncharted territory. It's easy to theorize from the safety of dry land, but in the moment, the best advice might just be to hope for a miracle. So next time someone tells you how to survive a shark encounter, take it with a hefty grain of salt. Because when it comes down to it, you're probably better off trusting your instincts and maybe praying a little rather than relying on the dubious wisdom of those who have never faced the terror of a shark in the wild.